We have an International 7.3 liter direct injection and we're going to go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it is recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. Before beginning the repair, disconnect the negative battery cable on both batteries. Remove the wing nut that holds the jack handle in place and remove the jack handle. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. Disconnect the upper reservoir tube and the three bolts holding the reservoir in place. Then disconnect the lower reservoir tube. Remove the upper radiator hose from the radiator and the thermostat housing. Using the appropriate tool, remove the fan clutch. Disconnect the two radiator shroud bolts and remove the fan clutch and shroud as one unit. Inspect the fan clutch for a loose bearing or damage. Loosen the water pump pulley bolts before removing the accessory drive belt. Using the appropriate tool, remove the accessory drive belt. It's a good idea to check the accessory drive belt for wear or damage. Remove the wiring harness retainer, disconnect the coolant temp sensor, and remove the bypass hose. Remove the clamp and disconnect the lower radiator hose. Remove the nine water pump mounting bolts and remove the water pump. Remove the thermostat housing from your old water pump. You will be required to reuse this or replace it. Remove the coolant temp sensor and the bypass hose fitting. They will be reused on the new pump. Install the thermostat into the new water pump. You'll torque the thermostat housing bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Using a thread sealant of some type, install a coolant sensor. Place the new o-ring on the bypass fitting and install into the new pump. The new water pump comes with a new inlet tube. The pump you're taking off may or may not use this style of inlet tube. Since we've elected to replace the lower radiator hose, we're going to install a new inlet tube. Torque the two bolts on the inlet fitting to 18 foot-pounds. Using a very small amount of sealant, place the gasket into its location on the water pump. Be sure and thoroughly clean the sealing area before installing the new water pump.
Install the new water pump, torquing the nine retaining bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Reconnect the temperature sensor. Install the bypass hose. And install the wiring harness onto the pump. Install the lower radiator hose. It's a good idea to clean the mating surface of pulley to eliminate any unbalanced condition. Install the water pump pulley. We'll torque the bolts to 18 foot-pounds after installing the belt. With the accessory drive belt installed, check the wear locator on the tensioner. Finish tightening the water pump pulley bolt. Reinstall the fan and radiator shroud, being careful not to damage the radiator. Reinstall the upper radiator hose. and coolant reservoir. Reinstall the jack handles into the location on top of the radiator. We've elected to use the airlift tool to install the coolant into this engine. This will eliminate any air pocket problems. Refilling the coolant system without the airlift tool will require an extensive bleeding procedure. Reinstall the negative battery cables. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 